Hi, my name is Ed Maloney. I'm a technology teacher here at Northport High School, and today we are having a STEM fair for the elementary students. We were able to uh, secure a grant where we were able to get drones for the summer camp program, and so in order to get ready for the summer camp, we decided to start using the drones here for the STEM day. It's very important to capture their interest in 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and even earlier. Otherwise, they will not take STEM programs in the high school. So we geared the Get Smart Summer Camp to start gaining the interest of these students in those, those ages. So it's uh, been a great turnout. Students are loving the drones. So as far as uh, getting into drones, there's always a concern of how we're going to learn about it, how we're going to incorporate it into the curriculum. Drone Blocks provides us with the curriculum, provides us with the simulator, so students can simulate flying the drones before they actually fly the drone. This way they can fine tune and tweak things before actually going into the physical things. And we find as teachers, it's less damage to the products in the long run. They also provided training for the uh, educators on the curriculum to really get me jump started. And again, uh, we just I just showed some of the curriculum to some of my high school students in principles of engineering, and they are enjoying looking at the simulator and all the missions and challenges. Out here we set up some obstacles, but we're gonna be building more obstacles in the class, in our principles of engineering class, to really just challenge the students with block programming. You could also do Python programming, and the feedback we're getting from the industry, from places like Brookhaven National Labs. If students want internships, they have to know how to use Python programming. And with the drones, we can incorporate that right into our classroom. I am excited to learn coding, and to learn through these drones is really cool. Well, the coding side is great because not only does it allow you to code something and have it sort of autonomously run, so you can set up a course like this and then you're able to kind of determine where things need to go, where they need to be, and through a process of trial and error, you're able to get a really, really cool, long-running code to have something go and perform exactly as you need it to. 